the Dusty Tomes original series, The Monsters of the Eclipse, Part 2, Lucy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help support the Dusty Tome so we can keep bringing you old and new creepy and weird stories to fall asleep to. Or not. <laughs>
one of the most fantastical sensations he'd ever felt in over 2,000 years, and he heard inside his own mind a thundering grumble of tones, the loudest cacophony he'd ever perceived within his ancient skull, and it growled like thunder. You can call me Gavin, and you'll do everything you need to, soon enough. Right then, Vitaly had all the feeling that goes along with shitting one's pants. And he was thankful that those processes are something he left behind long, long ago. He thought, For the love of God, where does this being's power end? And Gap spoke with his mouth this time. It is for the love of God. And it doesn't. And Vitaly fought to keep his mind silent, but he was absolutely pusillanimous. Lucy grabbed her bike from the rack, leapt on it, and was moving at top speed before she was even really aware what she was doing. What was I thinking? Miss Peminger is going to have my neck for this one, she thought. She had already cut twice, and this third cut could get her dropped from her freshman history class, basically dooming her to summer school. But this was the third vision she'd had, and the other two came to be exactly as she'd seen them. Her dad was in trouble, and she had to stop this one. She already lost her mom. There was no way she was losing him too. The tears were forming so quickly at the corners of her eyes that it was making it hard for her to see. Get it together, Lucy! She thought, and she gathered all her focus on the top of her head, just like her grandfather had taught her, and pedaled even harder. Shashrar! Popped in her head. It was the word her grandfather used. What a silly name for a spot on the top of the head. And why so hard to pronounce? Who makes these silly things up? And then she realized her thoughts had strayed. Focus, Lucy! Focus! When she had arrived at her house and leapt off her bike, she realized her dad's car was home. There was a strange car there as well, and the front door was unusually wide open. bike went flying on its own accord to the side as Lucy hit the ground, already running. And as she stumbled to the open door, aghast and completely out of sorts, her world was rocked to its core. Daddy! We hope you had fun with part two of Monsters of the Eclipse. If you enjoyed the story at all, please like and subscribe so we can notify you when part three hits the YouTubes. Thanks for listening, and see you next time at the Dusty, Dusty Tones. Tones.